Hey guys, welcome to another summoning video. So today we will be summoning for Semi Ramis. And I do have a catalyst. I decided to put Shiro out. So hopefully Semi Ramis will come for Shiro. So let's see. I don't have any tickets, so let's start off with the 10 summon and see how it goes from there. So today I definitely would love to get Semi Ramis, but I also really want that 4 and 5 star craft essence for the event. Because the 5 star has Nido on it, which is so cute, and also the 4 star is really adorable as well, so definitely want those two. So, without further ado, let's begin! Alright, first card... Caster... Oh, what? Uh, okay, okay! Gold, gold caster. It is... <sighs> Cersei! Awesome! All right, I am not going to go play. This is off to a great start. Great start already. And we have the three star. All right. Which is new. I have not gotten that yet. Very awesome. All right, then we have a code cast. Okay, back, back to normal. Back to normal stuff. But yeah, oh, I'm so excited for this uh, Valentine's Day event. I was gonna say that um, actually the spooks on this Valentine's Day event is gonna be interesting because we also have the story locked characters as well. So we might definitely see characters or servants popping up that we might not have normally seen. So, ah, that's great! Off, off to a good start. Off to a good start. I really like, I really like Cersei, so. I'm definitely happy to get uh, multiple copies of her. I do believe I only have her NP one, so this will definitely help out. But yeah, this Valentine's Day event, this, uh, this event is always so cute to do every year. Just to see what the story is and what the characters are up to. I've never actually watched the anime that Semi Ramis is in, so I'm actually very curious what her personality is going to be like. Okay, well, that was definitely a good first roll. Um, when the video, when we're done rolling, I will have to increase uh, Cersei's uh, Noble Phantasm. So, I guess we'll continue, continue with the 10 summons. Also, I would like to uh, give a slight apologies. I know I said I was going to stream these roles, but unfortunately, as I was testing my streaming software, it was just not... Ooh, Ideal Holy King. Very cool. It was just not working out. It was lagging like crazy and the sound was off and yeah, it was just... I just could not get it to work. I tested it a couple weeks... I believe a couple weeks ago and it was working fine. Oh, there we go. Awesome. We got the 4 star CE. Oh, that's so cute. That is a really cute one. Oh, here we go, another gold! Who's it gonna be? Alright, it's a Lancer, female Lancer. Liz? Liz, yep. Oh, I have her NP5. But it is a gold. It is a gold. Can't complain. And another copy of the four star. Very nice.
So yeah, I really did. I really did try to get my streaming to work, but I think there's a couple different factors that happened. My computer did a big, big update um, about a week or so ago, as well as me having to update all of the software and everything. So I think something, something broke. So, and that setup I had might not work anymore, so. So hopefully by the next time I do a summoning video, I'll have that stream up for you guys, but for now, for this one, probably not. Alright. Oh, this is so cute. I love the colors on this too, and they look so happy. Very good. Alright, let's keep going. These, uh, these tendrils have been pretty good to us so far. So yeah, I'm not sure which which one that'll be. I might do a little summoning for for one of the events coming up. Gosh, I can't remember remember the name of it. It's the one with the uh, cheeky in it, though. Um, I might do a little rolling on that one because I did do that event when it first came out, but. I did not get a lot of the CEs. I think I only did like one 10 roll back then and that was it. So I did not... I'm still missing a lot of those CEs for that event. But I will definitely be summoning on the boys banner when that comes out next month. Because I will be going for coup, coup altar. And then, of course, getting, trying to get multiple copies of um, Arthur would be nice as well. I have him MP1. Would love to get him MP2 at least. But the main target is definitely Ku. So far, this is ha this hasn't been the best of rolls. Of course, the first two uh, first two rolls were pretty great with uh, two two four stars so far. Oh, there's another one. This is my third copy, I believe. Okay, definitely not the best roll, but it's definitely not a minimum roll, so we'll keep going. So let's see, what has happened? Oh yeah, we had the Da Vinci rerun. Oh man, I went all out for that event. I used up all of my apples that I had been saving up. And I uh, had to stop, I think, a day before the event actually ended because I just, I just ran out. I just ran out of apples to use. And I think when all was said and done, I farmed 99 fake boxes and 80... 80 something. I don't remember how many true boxes I farmed. It was in the 80s though, some, I think it was mid, mid 80s somewhere. So that event, that event was really good, really good to me. I was in such dire need for bones. So, so many bones. But luckily, I, luckily I got enough bones where I was actually able to ascend all of my servants finally. And I finally achieved the milestone that I now have fully ascended and fully leveled every single servant that I have. So that was a really big milestone for me, and I was really happy to finally, finally be able to do that. I was also able to max out 
Nido Chris's skills. So she is awesome as well now. So she can hit real hard. And I also grailed both of my Nido Chris's. So I really hope I could uh, get that uh, CE, that five star CE that hasn't shown up yet. But yeah, so I have a level 90, level 90 Nido. She's not a hundred. She's only, she's only level 90, but and she's NP4, so I just need one, one more copy of Nito for her to be maxed out. Ooh, minimum roll. And three, three Uriels. Uh, it's fine. All right, let's see. Oh, I think we're down to our final five. I don't think I have enough. Uh, no, I only have two, so I might hold on to, might hold on to those Saint Courts. Might be doing a part two, but we'll see. We'll see what this final, what this final ten shot does for us. So let's go. So yeah, so Da Vinci, the Da Vinci event was really, really good to me. I had a lot of fun with it. And Setsubun as well. Oh my gosh, I actually really enjoyed Setsubun far more than I thought I would. I ended up getting... Yeah, I ended up clearing it. I think it took me three or four days to actually go through the entire tower. You know, I didn't. I didn't force it. Like when I was finally starting to run out of servants, I was like, "All right, I'm taking a break. Gonna wait, wait for a while, let all my servants recover, and then go back at it." And I think it turned out really, really. It was really fun because I ended up using servants I had never used before. Because you know, the one through three stars. Like I remember, I used some of them when I first started the game, but. You know, when you start getting more and more four and five star servants, you know, they start falling off and it's like you don't use them as much anymore. And this event really made me like figure out, okay, who deals AoE? Who deals single target? Who has like a more of a support noble phantasm? So for me, it was just like, oh, nice. Okay, I think this is my fifth copy. So now I'll be able to limit break this when the event's over. Which will be really nice. But yeah, so, like, for me, like, I didn't realize, but there's a lot of weaker servants who are really, really good that I hadn't realized, you know, I hadn't really considered before, so... It was really fun, like, trying to put together strategy and servants together. Get it to work. And I definitely saw a lot of Noble Phantasm that I had never seen before, so that was really fun. Alright, well, I think... Yeah, that is it for part one. There will be a part two. But before we do that, let's go ahead and increase Cersei's... No oh, I guess she's NP2 already. I guess this will be NP3. All right. Cersei was one of those servants that I got to use more for a Setsubun as well, and got to see her turn everything into piglets, which was really cute. So that was fun. So all right, that'll do it for this summoning video. Um, expect a part two to come out as well. Uh, I hope you have good luck summoning for Semiramis, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye now.